All right, guys, it's Virginia Outdoors Limited here today. Um, today is the second day of our late duck season. I'm going to be going out uh, to kind of my favorite river spot. Uh, we had some cold weather yesterday. It was uh, got down to about 26 uh, Friday night. And Saturday morning I went out. Yesterday morning I went out and um, saw a ton of birds, had a bunch of birds in the decoys, and my gun wouldn't shoot. My firing pin or something was messed up. Um, and in the process of field stripping my gun, I actually lost my firing pin. So that was a very, very frustrating hunt. I didn't get any footage. Um, so today I'm gonna be basically considering my opener. Hopefully, um, I have my father's gun in the truck and hopefully that thing shoots. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna be going out on the river. It's not as cold this morning, it's only about 30 degrees. Um, so yesterday I was dealing with a good bit of ice, but today, um, I think I'll probably still be dealing with some ice, but nothing like it was yesterday. Uh, and yeah, that's basically the gist of it. I hope you guys uh, stay tuned, and I hope you guys are, enjoy this video. All right, guys, I'm out here at my uh, at the spot. It took me about just over an just uh, under an hour to paddle in. I had about uh, a mile paddle and uh, four or five portages I had to make over beaver dams and trees. Um, but I got my kayak loaded up with decoys. I'm gonna go set out these decoys right now. And um, I'm gonna be running the jerk rig and the mojo today. It's uh, really calm today. I think the highest the wind's supposed to get up to is like two miles per hour today. So we're basically gonna have no wind. It's gonna be bluebird this morning with some cloud cover rolling in later. So whenever I have a bluebird day like this with no movement, I make sure I have my jerk rig. And then uh, the mojo never hurts either. Uh, these ducks, I'm hunting the same spot I did yesterday. So these ducks have seen, will have seen my spread yesterday. Um, they came into it yesterday, so I'm hoping they'll come into it again and they won't be shy to it. Uh, but you just never know. So I'm just gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna set out these decoys and I'll get back to you guys right before shooting time.
All right, guys, so um, the movement in here is not as much as it was yesterday. That said, there's still plenty of wood ducks. The mallards aren't here. Um, I, what I saw yesterday was majority mallards, and I've seen maybe four mallards. So it seems as if they were just migrators pushing through for the cold front, and they're not going to stick around here at all. Um, they're gone. Um, it's been okay, though. I had um, missed the first shots. Then I had a pair come in, and I killed the drake, I think. Um, and then I had a, um, black duck come in and I shot him and I had, I used four cleanup shots on him. I need to get some number sixes or something because I keep on shooting at them on the, on the ground or on the water to finish him up. Um, especially a black duck, I might want to get him mounted. I don't want to wring his neck. Um, and so I used four cleanup shots on him and, um, the wood duck I got, and then I had another pair of three come in while I was on the other side of the pool picking up that duck and I missed um, my gun clicked. I had an empty shell in the chamber, I think. Um, so I had to shuck that out. And by the time I shucked it out, uh, they had gotten up and I would have killed the Drake on the water. Um, he was right there, but just didn't work out. But, um, oh God, there's two mallards. There's two mallards. <laughs> Alright guys, so those two mallards that I just shot at came around, almost landed in the hole here, and then went and landed about 75 yards from me. So um, I'm going to sneak on over there. I should have a pretty good sneak route up through these woods. I'm going to see if I can't shoot one of these mallards. I know not everybody condones or likes jump shooting, but uh, you know, sometimes you just got to take the birds as they come. 75 yards, a, a stalk. I think I can maybe get close enough to sneak up and get a water swat on the drake. So um, I'm just gonna have the head cam on and I'm gonna make a sneak up here. And uh, there might be some other ducks up there too. So hopefully I can maybe knock something down and uh, increase my bet, increase what I've got to three so far. So stay tuned and uh, let's see if I can make this stalk. So, as you guys saw, that stalk didn't go so well. They came right by me and I missed. Um, but I decided to finally just take the time and build a blind, um, not a permanent one, just a makeshift one. Normally I just kind of sit in cover, or in limited cover actually. Um, but I actually put up a tarp here. And it doesn't look super good up close, but from far away it looks fine. And uh, here's the decoy spread today. Out here we got five wood ducks, and then over here we have seven mallards and my mojo. And then two of those, two of those mallards are on a um, on a jerk rig. So I'm just gonna have me a little sit. I got a can of soup, and uh, I'm just gonna hang out. The geese have been wanting to come in here all day, so I might get some geese on film, and hopefully maybe some ducks might come in. So yeah, stay tuned and. Uh, Hopefully this blind works for me and I'm actually able to get some birds in the hole instead of having to take pass shots on them. Here's what I've got so far. A woody hen. That's pretty normal for me, but uh, Never, never before have I killed a black duck, and that right there is a black duck drake. Um, beautiful, beautiful duck. And he actually has a little bit of, I'm colorblind, but he actually has a little bit of green in, in his head, I think. I can't really tell between greens and browns that well, but um, hopefully, I mean, he might be a hybrid. I need to get my dad to look at him because my dad can actually see color well. But, uh, you know, I'm happy to eat my first black duck ever. And, um, you know, now we can shoot two in Virginia. So if another one comes in, he'll get the uh, hammer as well. But stay tuned and uh, hopefully we can get on some birds here. The movement has really slowed down, but uh, 
you know, just another duck or two trickling in would make me really happy. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so I'm all packed up now. I got my decoys packed up and everything over there. Got my gun. Um, so we ended up with two ducks in this spot, but I am going to go, um, I have to paddle down river to get back to my truck. So, um, if I do have some birds jump up, I will try to jump shoot them. Um, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the video, um, because hopefully, hope maybe we can get a couple jump shot birds. Um, I still have two wood ducks to fill my bag limit. That's normally what we shoot when we jump shoot in here, but, um, you never know. You never know. Um, I've seen mallards in here. I've seen green wing teal in here. I've seen everything in here. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna, st um, I gotta pack up all my stuff in my kayak and then we're gonna head on down river. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get a couple more birds. All right, guys, so my hunt has finished up now. I got to the portion of the river where I packed my gun up and I stopped jump shooting. Um, we ended up with four birds, two hooded merganser hens, a wood, a wood duck hen, and a black duck drake. Um, I should have had a lot more ducks in the morning, basically, to summarize. Not a lot, but I definitely could have had at least a limit of wood ducks and probably a couple mallards. Um, and then that last little sequence that you saw, so basically what I saw was three three mergansers came out um, or two mergansers I saw the two hens and I thought they were wood duck hens they look very similar and so I shot one on the water and the other one got up and I shot her and then she dove under and I shot her again that's when I realized they were divers because a wood duck wouldn't dive like that most likely um, and then two, of course as soon as I do that two wood ducks jump up just directly to my left two big drakes and then I pile down a little bit further and a woody hen gets up to my left I take a shot and I shouldn't have taken that shot there was like 40 wood ducks about 60 yards downstream for me and they all just got up and left and I was like oh no I would have had I wouldn't have shot into that many ducks but I would have let uh, probably like when you float down like that most of them leave and normally a couple stragglers will hang in behind and see what's going on and I would have shot at the stragglers but um I'll show you guys what I got so there's the merganser hens there wood duck hen black duck drake as you can see the merganser and the wood duck they look very very similar um but you know it was a good hunt uh four birds is never a bad total and it's not really about the birds i had a really fun time and i was able to just sit out here in the marsh and just hang out for the morning which was fun um and get to watch some birds work so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a comment if you guys have any questions or um anything to say and um Make sure to subscribe to the channel because there will be a lot more duck hunts coming out. Um, I'm going to be do, hunt, hunting every single day. So every day that I have a hunt that I can at least get footage out of, I'll make a video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching.